We thank you, Jesus, because you have gathered us here today to voice the voice of the voiceless. We give you praise in Jesus' most precious and holy name. And everybody say, Amen. Please, you may be seated. Your Excellencies, members of the clergy, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. My name, I'm Bishop Silas Canali, born and bred in Kitale, but living here in Nairobi. Immediate neighbor to my friend here, Eugene Lodvik. God bless you. I am standing here to present God's word. And I have two passages of scripture that I'm going to read. One from Lamentation and another one from First Samuel. And so we begin by at Lamentation chapter number three. Lamentation chapter number three, I have two verses. That is verse 35 and verse 36. I read, to turn aside the justice due to a man before the face of the Most High or to subvert a man in his course, the Lord, and Lord there is God, the Lord does not approve. Just in case you didn't hear, I will read again. This is Lamentation chapter number 3, verse 35 and verse 36. It says, to turn aside the justice due to a man before the face of the Most High or to subvert a man in his cause, the Lord, that is God, does not approve. Another verse that I'm going to read is First Samuel. This is what will make our communication. First Samuel chapter number 17. First Samuel chapter number 17, verse 28 and verse 29. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men, and Eliab's anger was aroused against David. And he said, why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and the nonsense of your heart. For you have come down here to see the battle. Verse 29. And David answered and said, what have I done now? Is there no cause? What have I done now? Is there no cause? Blessed be the reading of God's word. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here not because we are happy. We are here because we are sad. We are here not because we are rejoicing. We are here because we are mourning. And we are mourning the lives of our people, our children, our sons and daughters. We are mourning because our people have not died because they were sick. We are mourning not because our people had an accident on the way. We are mourning because 
It happened that some of us have been used by the devil to terminate the lives of many. And this is why we are here today as members of the clergy. We are here from the political class. We are here as ordinary people to voice what God is saying. And this is what is going on. Let me now share with you what is going on from the passage of scripture that I read. David has been sent by his father to go and check on his brothers. To see what is going on in the battlefield. Not because David enjoyed war, no. But he went to take care of his brothers. He went to supply to his brothers what they did not have. And his older brother was there. And when David reached in the battlefield, he saw a huge monster, a man fashioned with all the equipments, a great man. Somebody has said he has been fighting all his life. He has fought everybody, he has fought everything, and he has been fighting all his life. He was there and threatening God's people. And telling them, if there is anyone strong here, let him come and fight with me. And if he wins against us, we will be your servants. And if somebody from your group wins, then this is what will happen. He was so sure that these people, they don't have a huge man like himself. He was so sure that these people don't have the equipment he had. He was so sure that these gentlemen who are always running and are hiding, they are going here and they are hiding, they cannot face him. Little did they know that Jehovah has a remnant. And I am here to tell you that Jehovah has a remnant. Hallelujah. Can I hear you join me and say Jehovah has a remnant? I didn't hear you say Jehovah has a remnant. You can shout it and say Jehovah has a remnant. Yes, he has a remnant. Jehovah has a remnant. Not as big as you are, but Jehovah has a remnant. Not as equipped as you are, but Jehovah has a remnant. Not as wise as you are, but Jehovah has a remnant. Not as known as you are, but Jehovah has a remnant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the boy was there. Maybe he had read what Lamentation had said. He had read that to subvert justice is not approved by God. He had read that to turn away that which belongs to a man is not right. And he was there. And he said, what is going on here? And his elder brother, his elder brother from the same side of the battle was against him and said, what have you come here to do? And I am surprised because it is the clergy who are aiding wrongdoing. And we are saying it is not right. We are saying it is not right. They might be known and great, but it is not right. Some of us who are small, some of us who are not known, we are standing and saying it is not right. We must approve what God approves. We must say what God says. If we miss fathers, it doesn't matter, but we must stand for the voice of Jehovah. It is not about pleasing men. It is not about being loved by men, but saying what God wants us to say. It is not right to subvert justice. It is not right to take away food from the tables of children. It is not right to suppress people. It is not right. And that is what the law says. I didn't write the Bible, but Jehovah wrote the Bible. I was not there when the Bible was being written, but I have found it is written. It is not right. And David said, what have I done now? Is there no cause? And friends, this is the question I have. Is there no cause? Is there no cause? I want you to help me and ask sir, we sit next to you. Is there no cause? Please do it. Ask, is there no cause? Ask loudly, is there no cause? In other words, we are not just running on the streets because we want to run on the streets. We have a cause why we are running. We have a cause why we are running. And the cause is not power. The cause is we are fighting for our children. 
We are fighting for our generation. We are fighting for the hungry. We are fighting for the homeless. And that is the cause why we are fighting. Is there no cause? Some of the men who are out there, they are honorable people. They have better things to do. But they have left better things and they have gone out there because of our cause. Some people don't want to be arrested and remain in the bus. But because there is a cause, they have stuck their neck out and they have gone to say, is there no cause? Is there no cause? Is there no cause? We have a cause, brothers. We have a cause, sisters. Growing up in Kitale, we knew Ugali. And Ugali was the food. And we have grown up with Ugali. And we don't understand any other language, especially to us who are lawyers. We don't understand any other language. Now I see my wife introducing rice in my house. Brother, I'm sleeping hungry. We lawyers don't eat rice. We eat rice as we wait for the real food. And you don't blame us for that. Don't blame us for that. Now you are telling us, no, you can eat fertilizer. We don't want to eat fertilizer. We want to eat ugali. We want to eat ugali. So us are living in dignity aside and going out there and shouting. We are shouting. Because we have, now we have realized there is no ugali on the table. Is there no cause for us to go out there? We have realized we are sleeping hungry. Is there no cause for us to go out there? Is, no, is, there, is there no cause for us to shout? There is a cause, brothers. And we are here because of that cause. And ladies and gentlemen, Stand firm for the cause. You will be vilified, but stand firm for the cause. The cause goes beyond you. Stand for that cause. In the name of the Son of God. Hallelujah. Now I'll ask us to stand and pray for the nation of Kenya because of that cause. We have a cause. Let's lift your hand and tell God we have a cause for this nation. And it's the liberation of our people to set our people free in the name of Jesus. Father, we are standing here in the name of the Lord to represent the voiceless, to represent that girl in Madare, to represent that boy in Kayole. We are standing here, Lord, to represent that brother in Turukana. We are standing here, Lord, to say there is a cause for us to stand. And Father, we are asking for your help. We are asking for your strength. You have told us that this battle is not ours. It is you as you will fight for us. Fight for us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, fight for us, O oh God. Defeat the Goliath. Defeat Pharaoh. Defeat the great man. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, O oh Lord, strengthen us. In Jesus most precious and the holy name and everybody say amen. amen one more time say to your friend there is a cause